Okay, we'll start. This is an Osprey uh, barbless jig hook, size 10. I've got a offset bead on this. I've got sheer, 40 naught black. Uh, in recent years there's been a lot of tying on jig hooks uh, for fly fishing, but they're tied as nymphs. And this is what I'm going to show you, is a, a, a marabou jig. So I'm using uh, Bard Marabou Chartreuse Black for this. This is perfect for it. Firstly, what I do is I take a short length of lead wire and I put it, place it flat on a hard surface and I use half of my uh, one of my hair stackers and I roll it, releasing pressure, very hard pressure at the end and then releasing pressure as I go so you get a taper if you can see that on the lead wire. So what we'll do first is I'll just place that lead wire on the jig hook there. It's very important, a jig hook is designed to give a jigging effect. And we'll just remove that now. And it's very important that the weight is correctly distributed in order to create that jigging effect. So what we'll do is we'll just tighten up that lead wire now. There we are, that'll do us for right now. And I'll attach my tying thread. Go over the end of the lead wire to hold it in position. And we'll go back, remove that. That's good. And I'll take a little bit one plume of the chartreuse and black marabou. Now you don't want a super long tail on this. That will do us nicely. And we'll just attach that. We we'll go forward over the lead wire, approaching the bead. Good. and then I'll just trim this off like so come in again that's beautiful now, I like to use marabou with tapered super fine tapered uh, tails tips on the marabou because what this will do is we'll get much more lively movement out of it when it's in the water, when it swims. So we go up here now, and then I've got a short length of black chenille, of which I just want to tie in tight to the bead. And we'll go a few millimetres back. Keep your time thread at the front. Make a few turns there and then we come back. And we can go forward again. I want a chunky body on this with that taper. Come forward. Now, I don't like to put any flash in the tails because this also restricts the swimming action. And we want this fly to jig. Bass fishermen know all about jigs. Just tighten that up and the swimming action of them. Now this is possible to cast with a fly rod and it works just like a bass jig. And it's that simple and it will catch you fish wherever you fish. It will fish upside down like so and the tail will give loads of movement. 
and I find them particularly uh, effective during the winter months. If you enjoy the videos please like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.